Welcome to Killarney Metals video resource. Today we are going to show you how to take a, an assembly drip pan and turn it into an assembly drain pan. I'm Trip Robbins, I'm Killarney Metals brand manager. This is Scott Toll, he's our president. He's going to be helping us, uh, helping me today with turning uh, this drip pan into a, an assembly drain pan. Here we have an assembly drip pan. Uh, you've got two pans that are each 24 inches. Um, what makes this an assembly drip pan is you've got a hemmed edge, okay? Normally you have a rolled edge to the interior which gives this pan extra durability and stability. We've taken this hemmed edge and we roll it over the hem for the secondary pan, creating one larger pan. You can see we have a C-clamp uh, attaching this drip pan to this table. Uh, this is just to add a little stability here so that we can make a hole to create a, an assembly drain pan. All right, so when we, being that these are 24 by 24, we just want to go about halfway. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to mark that. So basically the idea here is to have a flow through system to have two pans uh, join one another so that you can ultimately flow uh, you know, your, your spill containment over from one pan to another. Uh, so you want to measure the exterior of your fitting and measure your bit accordingly. Okay. Uh, once you drill the hole, uh, this is a galvanized pan. Yeah. So your shavings are going to now fall off, uh, leaving a hole that is no longer coated by galvanized steel. So you may want to coat that to prevent any type of yeah, rust. So, so just so I understand then, the galvanizing is actually coating on the metal. That is correct. And so when you're drilling through, you're actually exposing the metal underneath? We're exposing the raw steel underneath. Okay. Now, and, I want to be, uh, in this instance, I want to be very careful not to drill my hole too big, right? That is correct. So, so, the fitting, so the fitting needs to fit snugly in the hole. Fitting needs to fit snugly in the, in the hole. We we'll use a zinc oxide coating. Uh, you'll see on our corner welds inside and ex, uh, interior and exterior. So you can just coat those holes with the same zinc oxide to, to make sure that it is going to be a corrosion proof again. Okay. Now we're finished with the drilling process. So we're going to set this down and we have our half inch uh, mini bulkhead fitting. And basically you've got a quarter inch hole which will you know, allow the water or whatever liquid that you have to flow through from one pan to the other. So we're going to show you how we're going to take this, Scott, we're going to go through this side on closest to you. Okay. And we're going to put this fitting through there. Got it. And you've got your washer and you're going to go clockwise with your washer. You can use a larger fitting. Uh, this specific fitting is, uh, comes in different uh, drain through hole sizes. The uh, actual fitting is a half inch, but there are different sizes for the hole that allows the liquid to flow through. Okay. Now, if, I had, if we had multiple pans, if we had other pans, we could, we could hook them up the same way? Absolutely. Uh, with this system, Scott, you can connect as many pans as necessary in order to contain the area uh, for your specific application. Okay. So. Uh, you can re just repeat this process continuously uh, until you have it squared away. <laughs>